Uber is giving a new tool to drivers. But do drivers really want it? Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna to be talking about what this new tool is that Uber is rolling out. We're gonna talk about what Uber says it's good for. We're gonna talk about what it's useful for, how it's good, different things like that. Then we asked you already what your thoughts were on it and we're gonna give your feedback and what other drivers are saying. We're gonna give my thoughts as well overall. And of course, at the end, we'll ask for your comments after watching this video and what you think. And the tool that they're coming out with is called Proof of Trip Status. This is gonna be located in your safety toolkit and it's very similar to the Waybill plus what passengers get when it comes to who their driver is. So it's gonna show driver information, it's gonna show the actual ride information, and it's gonna show that you're actually on the Uber platform. So if you get stopped at a checkpoint or if there's any issues that arise when it comes to who you are and having to show that, it's gonna be right there and easy for you to be able to show that information to said person. Now, this is what Uber has to say when it comes to what the proof of trip status is. They say proof of trip status is designed to be easily accessible in the app if drivers or delivery people are asked by law enforcement or security to verify their status, i.e. at a security checkpoint like military base, college campus, and gated residential area, during special events or traffic stops, or when reporting suspicious activity or found items, they simply tap on proof of trip status in the safety toolkit and show it to law enforcement or security. The tool displays important at-a-glance information, such as their picture, license plate info, and additional resources for law enforcement and security personnel as well as their live timestamped trip delivery status. Proof of trip status can quickly verify their trip status and avoid potential miscommunication, enabling drivers to take trips and deliveries with confidence. So there you go. It's information that you can share with somebody who is asking you for the reasons why you're there, what you're doing, and a few other things when it comes down to it. So you have that proof right there. It's easy to get to at a glance and it contains all pertinent information that somebody might need in the event that they're asking questions or needing to know who you are. Now we did post this to the community tab as well as our Facebook page to get your feedback on what you're saying and thinking about this whole new tool. So a few of the comments from the YouTube community tab, John asks, where's the tool on the Uber app? It's gonna be in your safety toolkit. So you just tap on that and it should pop up in one of the options there as the proof of trip status. Larry says, not in your state yet. I believe it will be coming to all markets. So if it's not available in your area yet, it will be very soon. In the event that you have any problems or anything like that, just show them the app, show them the way bill, and it should be enough information if there are any issues. Uh, David says useless. And Bruce says drivers need more money, not that crap. All right, and now going over to our Facebook community tab and a couple of the comments, questions from there. And Kim says, isn't that what the Waybill can do? Yes, absolutely. That Waybill will show that information. It's just that it's a little bit more confusing. And if you're not a driver and haven't seen a Waybill before, you may not know exactly what you're looking at. You can kind of share that with the person who might be looking. This proof of trip status is designed for a quick at a glance thing with all that information that's gonna be much simpler for that person who's looking at it to understand and see exactly what it is. So then uh, Bill responds, says, the way bill won't get you onto a military base unless you have personnel with you. Now Chuck comments and says, this will be useless at most, if not all US military bases. At Fort Bragg US Army base here in North Carolina, you must have either military or government credentials or a base pass. Without one of these, you will not be allowed past the gate. The base pass must be applied for at the Welcome Center at the main gate during business hours. Once approved and issued, it is valid for a specific time period up to one year for contractors' businesses. The only other way on base without credentials or a pass is to be a passenger in a vehicle that is operated by someone with credentials. Then also he comments and says, and even with credentials or a pass, all vehicles entering the base are subject to random searches, which can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or more, 
if there are a line for searches. Even government-owned vehicles driven by someone with full credentials is subject to this. All right, thank you, Chuck, for sharing that information. And if anybody else has more information on military bases and rideshare driving, please put in the comments below, as well as when it comes to this whole proof of trip status. Now, Uber is a business. They don't know what it's like for bases. They don't know the security. They don't know the rules, the regulations, and all that when it comes to bases. The only thing they probably hear are complaints talking about the bases, and they're like, oh, well, if we have this, then maybe that will work and hopefully help get people onto the base okay. But they don't realize the rules and those regulations when it comes to military bases and being able to actually get past the gate. So there are certain issues when it comes to it. But when it comes to other things like law enforcement stops or anything like that, yes, yeah, something like this can really have a big impact. All right, and then Jennifer says, I think it's silly, just show the app. And then Doug says, I wish instead of these useless tools, they would give us more money per mile. So driver feedback is it's not really well received yet. Maybe they haven't used it yet. Maybe they haven't seen it yet. I don't know. Uh, but what are your thoughts overall on what we've talked about? Now, not including military bases, at least showing security gates, residential areas with security gates when it comes to law enforcement or anything like that. Do you think that something like this will have an impact? Do you think that this will be good? What are your overall thoughts? And yeah, if you have anything when it comes to military bases and this, put them in the comments and let us know. And now for my thoughts on this, I think that, yeah, you could potentially show the way bill and it probably isn't really anything that's going to be used too often. But having that information to share that's going to be at a glance is going to be good because people who don't drive and don't see the way bill or don't know what the way bill is, they're not going to know and it could be confusing to them and they might have more questions than answers just looking at something at a glance. So something like this could be a potentially good tool for certain circumstances. And when they say military bases, I still think the jury's out on if it's even going to allow drivers to get on base or not, especially with some of the comments that we received when it came to clarifying on these military bases and how you get on. Again, Uber is a business. They don't know how military bases operate. They think just by showing you some sort of credential is good enough to get on, but in reality, that's not the case. They're going to have to actually work with bases in order to have that happen. So who knows, maybe in time they actually might, but either way, I think overall, this could be potentially good, especially for those who may not understand certain aspects of the app like drivers do. All right, let's wrap it up there. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos do come out. And also check our community tab because we do post things there regularly and could use your feedback in a future video. Same thing with our Facebook page. We do post more and different things on our Facebook page. So make sure you follow us there and share your feedback because again, we may use that feedback for a future video. Link is gonna be in the description below. So check that out. All right, everyone, drive safe.